Right, this is grade two, module five, lesson 17. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue subtracting with the sub that standard algorithm. But this time, we're just gonna be subtracting slightly more difficult problems with zeros in them, just to uh, get a little more complicated and increase that rigor as we're practicing the standard algorithm. So the directions say to solve vertically or using the mental math method, some sort of mental math method, and then use the place value chart and the number disks uh, to verify our answer. So on this problem, I think I would probably use, I don't know, maybe let's do the arrow method because it's been a while since we've done the arrow method. So I'm going to start with 400 and I'm going to subtract 200 and that gives me 200. Then I'm going to subtract 10 and that gives me 190. And then I'll subtract 9 and that gives me 181. So there is our answer, 181. And because we subtracted 200, 10, and 9, so that's 219. So we subtracted 219. Uh, using the arrow method, we just did it in pieces, a step at a time, instead of just doing it using the vertical method. Now, if we wanted to do the place value chart, we, well, because we should, because that's the directions, so let's do that. So we've got four hundreds, one, two, three, four hundreds, and we need to subtract nine ones and one ten. Well, we don't have any ones and we don't have any tens to subtract. So we're going to have to do some unbundling here. And so let me get the green. And we're going to take this hundred, and we're going to unbundle him, and we get ten tens. And then we're going to take one of these tens and unbundle him for ten ones. All right, so this guy's gone because he got unbundled, and this guy is gone because he got unbundled. And now we are officially ready to do all of our crossing off. So this says cross off nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're left with one one. And then it says cross off one ten. There's one ten. And we're left with, let's see, eight tens. And then it says cross off two hundreds. So we cross off two hundreds and we're left with one hundred. So our answer is 181, and that's exactly what we knew all along. So this problem, let's, oh, let's do this using the vertical method. Let's practice that standard algorithm here. So we're going to do 905 minus 606. Now, teachers, parents, you could be giving your ch students a choice. They can either do the vertical method first and then verify with the place value chart. Or, if your students are still in that concrete stage, they could do the place value chart first and then the vertical method. Uh, so teachers, parents, it's up to you to differentiate for each of your students. And you've got to know your students and let them make their choices and help them make the right choice, depending on who they are and where they are in that developmental stage. So I think what I'll do is I will start by doing the place value chart first. So we're going to model 905. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my model for 905. And now we are going to cross off 6 ones. Well, we can't subtract 6 ones because we only have 5 ones. So we're going to have to go all the way to the hundreds. We're going to unbundle one of these hundreds, and we're going to get ten tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm going to unbundle one of those tens, and I'm going to get ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So now I'm officially ready to subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, leaving us with, let's see, 5 up here, 4 down here, leaving us with 9 ones. Now uh, it says to subtract 0 tens. Done! <laughs> Nothing to cross off. So we're left with these five plus these four down here. Remember, this guy isn't really here because he was unbundled. So we're left with nine tens. And then lastly, uh, it says for us to subtract six hundreds. Well, that's pretty straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six leaving us with these two hundreds left over, so our answer is 299, and we get that using the place value chart. Let's verify it with the um, vertical method. So let's get that going here, and so it starts with, well, take away six ones from five ones. So if you have five, take away six. Well, you can't do that. So we have to go all the way over to the hundreds column and unbundle. So he becomes an eight hundreds because we're going to unbundle that hundred to get ten tens. Now we can unbundle one of those tens, leaving us with nine tens left over. And we're going to get ten ones, which gives us fifteen ones. So now we have fifteen ones take away six ones. That gives us nine. And then we have nine tens, take away no tens, that equals nine tens. And then we have eight hundreds, take away six hundreds, that leaves us two hundreds. So our answer is 299. And that wraps up this lesson. It's grade two, module five, lesson 17, where we're using the standard algorithm to subtract some pretty sneaky stuff like 607 minus 208.